What's up, soil brothers and soil sisters? What is the fastest and most effective? It's Monday, y'all. It is Monday morning. Oh my goodness. These days, weeks, months are just rolling on by. Oh my God. So, trying to get myself together <laughs> the right way this morning. I hope y'all had an amazing weekend. It was absolutely gorgeous here in Savannah this weekend. No rain. Knock on wood. <laughs> we had no rain so far. Um, It does. Uh -oh. oh, my goodness. We had no rain so far. Um, let me mute myself over there. Um, we had no rain, but it was beautiful. The sun was shining. It was hot. It's, I don't know what. So, you know me. I try to get out there and get what I need to get done early and get back in the house. But I was able to get out and play a little bit. So that always make me happy. And that's what we're talking about today. Being happy. So I'm trying to make sure I can see the chat over on YouTube and, I mean, Facebook and YouTube. I know I'm trying to do too much here, right? <laughs> Doing a whole lot here. Live check. Good morning, Rita. I can see it now. So I can see Miss Beautiful Rita over there. Songs. Thank you for becoming a tropical troop. We appreciate you. Good morning, Ann Dale. Welcome to the club. Yes, welcome to the club. Who else did I see in here? Lisa White. Good morning, Soil Sister. Fresh and fire. Y'all, excuse the lawnmower in the background. I wanted to go live on the porch, but um, the maintenance man outside, <laughs> the maintenance man, a.k.a. Bobby, he outside cutting the grass, so. We have not been able to cut the grass in probably two weeks, and it is about knee high. It was crazy. So I'm glad he is able to cut the grass, but you may hear him because now he's right up against the house. So excuse the noise for a few minutes. She is sunshine. Good morning, Soil Sister. I'm going to click Rita's name up here. She is over on Facebook. G Mama Grows. What's up, Soil Sister? Pescatarian Gardener. Good morning in my Bobby voice. I know that's right. <laughs> Miss Robin, good morning, beautiful soil sister. Grand Acres, I love this lady, y'all. Good morning, soil sister. GT Jr. grows in Alaska. He growing watermelon in Alaska, y'all. In Alaska, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, ahead of time. So if y'all can be so kind and hit that thumbs up for us, share us out. If you feel like it, but we appreciate you all for being here. Um, you know, Mondays we spend time and we talk about different um, health herbs, healthy herbs. And we all know how important the brain is to us all. And we know how the brain can change as we get older. Things can change you know some for the good and some for not so good but there are things we can do to help keep a strong healthy mind so that is what we are talking about today because you know we all get those moments like you ever look in the refrigerator and it's like what am i looking in here for or you walk to another room and it's like what did i come in here for you know those are the little things even though my husband do that all the time. I keep up with, I try to keep up with everything. But it weigh on your brain after a while. It's like, I know he say I got a big head, but how much can I keep in this big head of mine? <laughs> so there are some herbs and different things you can look into, drink or take, consume every day or, you know, in rotation to help keep a sharper brain and it can also help with combating things such as depression dementia alzheimer's parkinson's all of that stuff so some of these herbs we'll discuss this morning 
can help aid in a stronger and healthy brain or mind. So, you know, we know mental illness is real. And sometimes, I mean, a lot of times, who you choose to be around, you know, what you choose to listen to, what you choose to watch, the vibes that you allow into your life, they play a huge part in your mental health, your brain health. So always, you know, look for positive vibrations, people that speak life into you and not death. And, and you know, that is a, a very, that is very, very important trying to keep negative. And it's hard, y'all. It's hard because negative negativity is out here and it's real. But we know how to stay away from it. We know how to stay away from it. Your tribe is your vibe. That's right. That's right. I love that. Good morning, Byron. Um, you know, be careful. You have to be careful. You got to protect your peace at no me. I mean, protect your peace because once your peace is disrupted, it's, it's rough. It's rough. So protect your peace. You know, it's important. Positive vibes. Listen to positive things. Um, hang around positive people. Watch positive things. You know, we all like to indulge in some messiness sometime or something that isn't so positive, but just don't let it consume your life like all of that love and hip hop and. <laughs> housewife drama and you know so the man-made chemicals are responsible for most of today's illness that we never seen our parent years true true so good morning from new hampshire good morning soil sister i appreciate you for being here so let's go over some of these herbs that can help us what a keep a sharper brain or a positive or a healthy brain. Um, this is not medical advice. I am just doing this for educational purposes. I always encourage you to do your research. It is very important to always research anything that you hear from anybody. Good morning, Barb. Um, always important to do your research because so much to learn so much to know we'll never stop learning so the people you choose to spend time with will either lift you up or drag you down that's right lisa they will so the devil is always busy um i need this for my brain this morning well and there let me help you with your brain a little bit so we're gonna start with moringa i absolutely love moringa good morning purple 101 i probably should have pulled some um some herbs out of my apothecary, but I didn't. I was being lazy. So let's start with moringa. Um, moringa is the tree of life. It can help. I, I did my research. Lots of research. So moringa can help in so many ways, you know, in, in your body, period. Let me get my notepad. All right, Grand Acres, I, I'll wait for you. So let me explain first. I'm going to go back a little bit. And I'm going to introduce myself because over on Facebook, a lot of people do not. They've seen me, but they don't really know me. I am Sherry Black of Black's Tropical Homestead. I am one half of Black's Tropical Homestead. Um, I have been gardening about almost two years now. If you listen to me, uh, a few weeks ago, tell a story about our friend Sandy. Well, you can't see it, but Sandy is on this wall. Oh, as a matter of fact, I have a picture of Sandy right here. This was my inspiration for gardening. Sandy, our beautiful friend, she passed away on her 108th birthday. Did she have Alzheimer's. Yeah, she did. Um, um, yeah, 51%. That that sounds good. <laughs> um, she 108. 
she had some Alzheimer's. She, you know, I was Queenie, which I don't have the picture of Queenie out. I was Queenie. My husband was Parky. Parky is this man over my head up here. This is Parky. She called Bobby Parky. She called me Queenie. Parky and Queenie were like some of the best people to Sandy. When you asked her, I would ask her, who is Queenie? And she said, oh my God, Queenie. They said that was the highest compliment you could get. Same thing if she referred to you as Parky. And she didn't refer to people as Queenie and Parky. She knew my name was Sherry because when she wanted to call Sherry, she would call Sherry. She had Alzheimer's, but she was a hundred and she threw a hundred and seven. She was great, <laughs> very happy, you know, smiling, laughing. She got up when she wanted to. She slept when she wanted to. She ate when she wanted to. She was very happy. She was not combative. She was not um, depressed or you know, scared. I know some people with Alzheimer's and or dementia, they can tend to be afraid of everything. She was not afraid. She was very happy and very healthy for 107. So this is what made us wake up that, hey, you know, you got to do better. You can do better. You know, this lady saved an island. This lady, there's a story about her. It's a book called The Lady Who Saved an Island. Um, by Jane Fishman, another great friend who we just lost. But she encouraged us without even saying, she didn't tell us, you should do this, you should do that. That's what she did. She lived on the island. You know, she lived off the island. She didn't take many meds. She took a aspirin for her knee, <laughs> for her arthritic knee. Um, when she was in a nurse home, they she was taking some pill to try to help her rest or sleep. It didn't work. When she moved in with us, she was great. She slept. She was happy. She ate. She danced with Bobby. She flirted with Bobby. Life was great. So here we are in our mid and late 40s. We got to do better. We can do better. So we decided Bobby always gardened. So we decided to expand it. And that's when I started doing this deep dive into herbs. I would go to Asaba Island, which is where that's Sandy's Island. And we would hear about different herbs and different plants there. Um, the book is called The Lady Who Saved an Island. Give me one second. Let me run and get one. Excuse me. I keep calling it the lady. It's the woman. <laughs> the woman who saved an Allen by Jane Fishman. Let me make sure I go up so you can see Jane. The story of Sandy West and Asaba Allen. So, herbs it is. You know, um, we heard a lot about herbs and, and the way Sandy lived on Asaba. So we know God going to take care of us for one thing. We know that for sure. We don't know what he got in store for us. But every day that we wake up, we have time to do better. And that's what we choose to do. Better. Growing and raising as much of our own food as we can. Supporting local farmers. You know giving back to the earth, treating our animals well, because if we're going to consume meat, we want to consume the best. And you don't want stressed out meat because that's putting stress in you. You know, you don't want stressed out plants. That is adding stress to your life. So, Moringa. 
It's the tree of life. It is not easy to grow everywhere, but you can grow it indoors. I don't care if it's this big. If you can get a leaf off of it every day and eat that leaf, great. Thanks for that. I will get that book and read it to the children. You are my health <laughs> camp kids today. Good, good. Yes, that's a great book. And and um, Pescatarian, the good thing about you reading or talking about Asaba to the kids is Asaba Allen is right down the street. Well, it's right down the, the river, the ocean, but it's local to, to us. So it's a fascinating story to me and not just because Sandy lived with us and we took care of her, but just because it's a fascinating story. This woman saved an island. Um, Moringa can enhance the memory by alternating the enzymes activity. So we definitely need Moringa. Moringa is spelled M-O-R-I-N-G-A. You can probably buy it find it um lisa you may be able to grow moringa i, I need to send you some stuff i can send you some seeds because i do have some um moringa probably can be but dried i'm sure it can be i'm sure um but moringa is a great herb for so many things you definitely want to research moringa for overall health but Oh, you just bought some seeds? Well, that's a good one, you know. It's a good one to have. That's a good plant to have. Um, it's good for keeping the brain healthy. So good purchase, good purchase. Next, turmeric. Most of us grow turmeric, especially this time of the year. Um, we do grow black, orange. <laughs> I know Leia Farmer is busy, but bought seeds from him. Okay, moringa seeds, good. Um, turmeric, number two is turmeric. Thor, can you please get up? You making all that noise? You want to say good morning? Um, say hello. <laughs> turmeric. Majority of us grow turmeric. If you are a god and a nine out of ten, you grow the seeds are edible. Um, you grow turmeric. We grow black, orange, and white turmeric. All have different benefits. The black is more potent. The white is very edible <laughs> compared to the orange and the black. Oh. But um, turmeric help fight um, different degenerative diseases to help keep your brain healthy. So, you know, things like dementia and Parkinson's, they are all like diseases of the brain and turmeric can help fight against some of those. Can you get out? Go. Thank you. Lion's mane. Lion's mane is a mushroom. I wasn't even going to go over that one. But lion's mane can help. Um, it's, it's actually two different kind of mushrooms that help with brain health. I cannot remember the other one, but I did write down lion's mane. Rosemary. Very easy herb. It helps stimulate the brain. When I make tea, nine times out of ten, I do put rosemary in it. I just always forget that I put it in it, but I always put rosemary in um, teas, especially something for focus because, yeah, it's all busy <laughs> because it helps stimulate the brain, and sometimes we need that. You want to grow mushroom? Bobby do, too. And we went to HOA. He saw a mushroom kit that he wanted, and he forgot to get it, so Maybe this year he'll grow um, mushrooms. But we do forage for mushrooms. When we go to Asaba, we have forage for mushrooms. And he brought them home, clean them, cooked them, tastes just like chicken. I was like, how is that possible? That's crazy. But it was good. I don't like mushrooms. Ginkgo, another good herb to have in your apothecary. It improves the blood flow through the brain. We all need good oxygen. So you know if your oxygen level get low, you know, when people are confused or sometimes it's just their oxygen is low. And if you get the right amount of oxygen, that confusion and that fogginess go away. 
ginkgo, but making sure you have great oxygen. What's up, Jess Dorsha? Peekaboo, honey. Um, is there a specific moringa species we need or moringa is fine? Moringa is fine. Um, I'm not sure if there are different moringa species. I think it's just one species of moringa. So definitely um it's just moringa. So peekaboo, honey. A friend from India eats turmeric every day. She swears by it for overall health. So that's the thing. Like the Asians, they eat a lot of turmeric. A lot of turmeric. A lot. They are probably some of the longest living healthy people, you know, because they eat so many herbs and they cook with so many herbs. You cook with it. You can't overdose on herbs. You know, it's, it can't mess you. It's not going to make you sick. Herbs are food and medicine. So great. Cinnamon. We also grow cinnamon. <laughs> 13 species. There are. Goodness gracious. I don't know. We just got moringa. It's called... I can't find the bag, but when I find the bag, I will post it, the moringa that we grow. And we just got a bag of seeds from GT Jr. sent us a bag of seeds. That's the moringa we grow, which actually look like the same moringa that we get from everywhere. So got a, I got a kit. I just need, as far as I think the chickens, chicken of the woods mushroom tastes like chicken. Just guessing I'm not. But that's, that's what we found, the chicken of the woods. It tastes just like chicken it's crazy um cinnamon cinnamon can improve help improve cognitive function so moringa powder off amazon thanks for that brenda because you know what i saw moringa in walmart too even though you know i'm not a label reader just be careful with it you don't want things that got a whole bunch of different um ingredients if moringa is the ingredient, let's just pray is moringa only. That's what you want. Something with very little to one ingredient. So moringa is what you want. Um, but if you can grow it, it grows so good and so fast. Grow it through the warm season, dehydrate it, save it. I need more moringa seeds also. Cena Renee, email me. Email me. You know we got you. Good morning. Um go to cola i make go to cola tea every week for body every week and it's just go to cola it is good to help um are you growing cinnamon yeah i got a cinnamon tree somebody sent us a cinnamon tree last year so i would love to grow it's very slow but let me tell you about the cinnamon tree I'll go back up a little bit Cinnamon, so somebody sent us a cinnamon tree last year. I'm not sure who sent it. They didn't give us a name or anything. Good morning, Hoodstead. But we got a cinnamon tree, and it was really small. Now it's taller, but um, we left it outside through the winter, and you know our winter was hard this year. It got down to 18 degrees, didn't come over freezing for days, and the cinnamon tree was untouched. It just sat on the porch. I forgot it was out there. Didn't water it. Didn't do anything to it. The leaves were still green. The little plant was still beautiful. Now it's nice and tall. It's doing great. I probably need to um, up pot it. But yeah, we have a cinnamon tree. Ceylon cinnamon tree. Want to see it? I have to. I'm gonna have to show you. I'm gonna see your picture of it. But it's good. And you know, I was shocked. I was like, I can't believe we forgot it outside. And it didn't die. So it's doing great. It's about maybe three feet tall now, I think. About three feet tall. But it's doing good. It's doing good. It was very little when we first got it last year. I'll show it to you. Um, go to Cola. I make Go to Cola every week for Bobby. Best way to grow turmeric. The ones I started... Didn't do a thing. So turmeric take take a while to sprout. Um, I just put the rhizomes in the ground and forget about them. And they will pop up. I don't I don't worry about watering them or anything because you don't want to rot them out. So once I plant my turmeric 
um, root. I just leave it alone. Now, if you're getting turmeric from the store, you want to make sure you have organic turmeric because they spray something on them so that it won't sprout. You have to soak that, but just get an organic piece, put it in the ground and forget about it. Don't water it. If it rains, that's the only water it get and, and it'll sprout. At least I was do anyway. I just put a whole bunch in the in the um raised beds. I put them in raised beds this year. I left one in the tub and they all are huge this year. Are there seeds for cinnamon? I don't know, Dorsha. That's a good question. Hmm. I don't know. But I'm sure I can find out. I'm sure I can find out. But the, the plant is it's a it's a pretty little tree and i'm not sure when we'll be able to get um cinnamon sticks or anything off of it i'm sure it'll be a long time because it's a slow grower or it just you know it just taking its time with us okay i'll take you on a tour in a few minutes um that's what i did wrong trying to water it yep cinnamon and ginger once you drop those rhizomes or those roots don't water them. Just let them be for a little while. Um, okay, cinnamon in the front yard. But I I try to do a quick little tour in a few minutes. Saffron. Saffron. Is that the most expensive spice? They say. Um, what are the medical purposes for cinnamon? Um, it improves cognitive function. Cinnamon does. Um, saffron increase dopamine. So they say that saffron may be able to improve the memory in people with Alzheimer's. So if it is a slow grower, would it be smart to grow a lot at one time? Yeah. Um, with cinnamon, I don't know. Cause I, I don't know. This tree is growing really, really slow real slow and i if bobby come in the house i ask him to bring it in but it is growing very slow but i don't have to do anything to it i don't think he ever fertilized it's just sitting out there in the pot doing what it do it's so happy we don't bother it <laughs> it actually get water from rain we don't water it um i think it's been in this pot for about a year and it's not stressed out like i said we left it outside in the cold freezing cold and it's doing good so um black pepper for all you black pepper eaters i always say we need black pepper with turmeric so it can help break the, the black pepper help um absorb help your body absorb the turmeric black pepper improves brain function lower depression symptoms <laughs> he was listening he was listening this is now cinnamon tree. It doesn't smell like cinnamon or anything now, but look, it's still in the same little pot. Low maintenance, this thing is no maintenance. <laughs> this is cinnamon, look, new growth up here. And it looked like this. When we got it, it might've been like this tall. Hey, good morning, auntie. Now, this is cinnamon. And it just sit and do its own thing. It's in a little tiny pot. <laughs> and we don't have to do anything to it. So this is our cinnamon tree. And it was outside through the winter. Maybe if we did something to it, it might grow a little bit. Well, it's growing. It, it just doesn't grow fast. So that is the cinnamon tree. And I'm not sure where whoever sent it to us. We did have a tag. No, we didn't. We didn't have a name or anything. Cinnamon can get really big. I just don't know how long it'll take to get big, but they can get big because, you know, with cinnamon, all they're doing is they're carving the bark off of the tree. So they can get really, really big. But, um, yeah, we just letting it do what it do. And it's taking its time doing it, too. Um, 
Ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is very important in so many ways. So many ways. Definitely research Ashwagandha, but it addressed emotional and energy issues. So you want your energy to always be good. You, you be feeling down sometimes. But Ashwagandha is an awesome herb. We need to talk about that probably on Monday. But anxiety, stress, depression, Ashwagandha is your friend. Holy basil. Holy basil. You can put holy basil in water. You can just eat it. You can chop it up, put it in salads. It is good for stress. It's an anxiety and depression stress reliever. Holy basil. Easy to grow. Great herb. I'm growing ashwagandha this season. Good. Good. G mama grows. It's Monday. I know. <laughs> I know, but I can't sit on here long because it get hot out them doors. And I'm going to take y'all outside in a minute. Cacao. Cacao. So some people, I did a cacao short one day and people were saying, you know, the caffeine from the chocolate and this, that, and that. But that's processed. It's a difference when you have things that are processed versus things that are natural. So we grow cacao and you can use the, the um, we, we have a chocolate tea. Can I get some moringa? Yeah. Oh, you want seeds, Auntie? Because we got seeds. We got a couple of little starter plants. Um, we have chocolate tea, which give you energy without the caffeine. It's natural. It's the sun process. So cacao is is a great mood elevator. Um, chia seeds. I always talk about chia seeds. Okay, I got you. I always talk about chia seeds because I put chia seeds in uh, drinks and food sometimes. Even when I make bread, instead of putting, what are they, sesame seeds <laughs> on top of our bread, I put chia seeds because the omega-3 fatty acids we need, they help nourish the brain, create a sense of calm and focus. And we all need that. Coconut. So coconut. I say use coconut oil over olive oil. It improves memory. Some people that have Alzheimer's or dementia or that offset early stage or whatever, the doctor will prescribe them coconut pills. On the way to the guy, can we see Trudy? Let me tell you, Trudy is a mess. <laughs> um, they will give you coconut pills. Um I say if you need to cook in something, it should be coconut oil. Coconut is good for memory. Goji berry. We grow goji berry too. Oh my God. We grow so much stuff. Goji berry can protect against the damage of um, these diseases such as Alzheimer's and mint. Mint. Let me tell you, just smelling mint alone can do something to your brain. I don't know what, but just smelling the mint alone, it's like a happy herb. Herbs are, like Bree said the other day, smelling herbs, it just make you happy. When you smell mint, it's like it just opens you up. It's like a field of fly, um, flowers in your brain when you smell mint. So herbs for happy, healthy, strong brain. Look into some of them. A lot of them you can grow. A lot of them you do grow. You have them in your cabinets. You got them, you know, you got them. I say use them. That's what my doctor tell me. What's up, Al2 Smoking? My doctor told me, you got this stuff. You just need to be consistent. Well, what's the problem? That's the problem. I'm not consistent. We are not consistent. So Let's do better. Use our herbs. We're going to take a walk if I can get this thing going. I don't know if I can get it going. Um, So I'm going to show y'all our turmeric. I'm just going to take y'all for a walk. Just had some pineapple mint tea with my hibiscus. I just made, so every morning, that is one of the first things I do now is make, um, do you say cooking and coconut oil is good? 
I can add that I only use olive oil and avocado oil. Yeah, coconut oil is good, especially, you know, people that can't focus on what herb is good for blood pressure. Um, we appreciate you. Hibiscus. Hibiscus, which we drank hibiscus tea on a regular here, but it's the best for blood pressure. So let me see y'all if I can pull this thing up. I'm going to take y'all out in the back so we can look at some plants. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Y'all heard Bobby? <laughs> Need moringa seeds. I'll be getting it in this morning. All right. So let me, I'm going to end this. I mean, I'm not going to end it. I'm just going to drop myself from the computer so I can. Come in on my phone. Yeah, definitely hear him. He getting it in. <laughs> Thor, you want outside? Okie dokie. Can y'all hear me? What is all this? Come on, buddy. You doing the most. So the thing with this is I cannot see the chat that I know of. Where you going?
So, I can't figure out how to get it on my phone. So, all I can do is take the computer. Come on, Trudy. Get out. No, go the other way. Can you hear me now? Come on, Trudy. Let's go on a field trip. <laughs> I'm muted. Am I muted still? Can y'all hear me? You back? Okay. Go. Good girl. All right. So let's go. I'm not sure how far I can go because um, look. Y'all see all that honey behind me and those buckets? <laughs> Five-gallon buckets. You see where they at? Okay. So I'm not sure when this thing will cut out, but it may cut out. Truly be in a race for time. All right, y'all. So it's not going to work. That's a lot of honey, right? It's not going to work for me to be able to walk around. Show on it here, over my shoulder, right here and right here. And right here are all turmeric plants. This black. This one is white. This one is orange. So those are three turmeric. And I just put them out there and leave them alone. <laughs> so I probably have to, we'll do a, um, I told Bobby we need to do a tour. So we'll do a tour. And all these other pair are like black elephant ears. And, but we'll do a tour so see them good because you can't see them good like this. Come on, Trudy. Oh. Miss Trudy, there she go. Come on. Come on, Trudy. Let's go. I can. Um, I can. We just never stream or anything out there. So I just don't. We When we thought about setting up, Bobby set that. Um, that area up outside we um we talked about being able to stream out there so we just need to finish setting it up do your black elephant ears come back every year yep they come back every single year um bathing in honey <sighs> so we starting to jaw up look at what i've been doing the honey. this is how much honey we got this is blue butterfly honey. So I took the blue butterfly peas and put them inside the jar. I let it sit for like two months. No, for about two weeks. <laughs> Just to see if I can infuse my um, honey with different herbs. So this is, get out of that water, Trudy. This one is um, blue butterfly. No, no, this one is chocolate mint honey. So, and I didn't fill the jars up because I wasn't sure how it would turn out. So every day I just flip them. It's just like when Andel make her um, golden rod honey. Oh man, that smells just like chocolate mint. But every day, I just turn it over. And that is how I am playing with honey 
air freshener. This is lavender air freshener. <laughs> Everything can be homemade, of course. Hibiscus tea. Blue butterfly pea tea. So I make two jars every day and I set them up on the, um, I set them up on the stove until they cool and then I put them in the refrigerator. You gotta watch Trudy. Trudy tried to. Already. I made some of Andale's Goldenrod honey last year. I still got one of Andale's Goldenrod honey. Look. I said I was gonna let it just crystallize so I can cream sun. Yeah. Just turn it upside down. So this is why I keep all of my herbs. Oh my goodness. This is why I keep all of my herbs. This is our medicine cabinet. Every day, I'm now, I'm getting toothache. So I just put my toothache plant in here. I need to fill it up with alcohol that way. I can jot it. When I share it with people, I put it in a little jar that I can't find. But this is freeze dried moringa. Yes. Email me, um, Mary Grow with me. Email me. I, I I have a few left, so I, I can send out what I have. Um freeze dried moringa. So we always freeze dry stuff. So that when it's not in season to grow, we can have plenty of throughout the winter. Everybody should have as many moringa trees as you can. I wish y'all could smell this. What does that smell like to y'all? Look at that. This is just cacao pods. Chocolate. This is the best energizer you will ever get. Um, but we keep everything in here. The silks from corn silk, which is good for UTIs and bladder issues, elderberry, cayenne, bamboo leaf. Everything is in here. Ginkgo. We got Golda Cola. I use a lot of Golda Cola all the time. Your apothecary. Yeah. Stevia, which, you know, we um, butchered our stevia plant to make an extract and freeze dry stevia. So now we have stevia two different ways. How do you grow cacao? Can I buy seeds? Um, we don't have any cacao seeds, but you can grow it by seed. Lady Led, I know she always grow cacao by seed. Um, and they very, they very easy to grow. But we don't have any seeds. Our tree is not flowering right now. Um, but yeah, this is an easy way to do a medicine cabinet. This is rosemary. And most of these in this cabinet are just for medicinal purposes, not for cooking. But you can cook with this stuff too. You know, I just keep it separate because I want to know that I got a certain amount of everything when it comes to um, medicine. Let me see if I can show y'all this. You say hello? Trudy, you say hello? No? You're just going to look at me? Do you want to give me Paul? Huh? You going to give me Paul? You going to give me Paul? Give me Paul. Give me Paul. Give me Paul. Oh, no. Here come my daddy. Oh, here come the hater. <laughs> Trudy was waiting on that bone. <laughs> so, I just wanted to show y'all how easy it is. You know, labeling is important, which I do not label in the garden, but I label uh, apothecary because it's so important um, to keep things labeled. What are you looking for? 
This is one of Nala's. What is rosemary used for? I have used rosemary for everything, um, but definitely to for focus. Mainly, that's what I use it for. Mainly for focus and seasoning our steaks. Come here, Trudy. So you know this is one of Nala's puppies. What you got? A bone? You took your daddy bone? That's Thor, the dad, and this is truly the puppy. Okay, sit. Good boy, good boy. Good boy. Give me Paul. Truly want to give me this bone. She is now four months old. Is she four months yet? But, um, yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. A spoil. Big and spoil. So chocolate is my strength. So when people try to get away from chocolate, something like chocolate tea is good because you get your chocolate. It's just cacao pods, you know, so you're getting the benefits of the chocolate and the taste. But um, not all the bad effects from it. So I'll drink chocolate tea sometime. But now I don't even have these chocolate cravings and and different things. So, and we'll do more. Scala is 54 pounds. Oh my God. The babies. I cannot believe how fast those babies grew up, but they grew up and now no more babies. Like Tr Trudy. Trudy is her own little person. She always going in the back somewhere to shop for stuff. So, not gonna hold y'all because I got some things. I need to be doing. Um, we are still. I need to try my hand in tinctures. So tinctures are so easy. You know, tinctures are nothing to be afraid of. I use. Um, I don't think I have the alcohol anymore. But I use. It's called Mr. Boston, which um, I'm allergic to chocolate. I do indulge in moderate though. Um. Tinctures are easy. I get this Mr. Boston vodka, and all it is is putting your herbs, and you can do a small job because most of the time I do a small job. My golden rod is in a big job because I never want to run out of golden rod. So, tincture that is, that's what this is, but it's a big job. In a small job, I have corn silk. And, you know, when I stop being lazy, all I do is strain it and get all of the solid off or the plants off. But I try to keep enough of the plants to where we can have tea if we need it. Some people cannot do alcohol, so they have tea. Tincture, tincture is simple. It's just the herb and alcohol. Let it sit. You know, I do all um, I don't even turn mine every day. I just let it sit. Labeling is very, very important. You want to make sure you label your herbs because so many things can look alike. You don't want to get nothing mixed up with anything. What do you do with corn silk? So the corn silk is good for um, UTIs or bladder infection or you know um, kidney stones. So the tincture, you know, is just medicine, but you can make tea with it. So with this part of it, I make tea. Like hundred proof drinking alcohol. Yes, drinking alcohol. Hundred proof is good. Anything over eighty proof, I say. But this, I would make tea with it. Just take a little bit, put it in my tea bag. Drop it in some water, let it boil or boil your water, and then let it steep. Yeah, never use rubbing alcohol for your tinctures. Always drinking alcohol. They are so easy to make. And once you start making them, you'll be like, oh, that's all? And you will not go any other way. This is elderberry tincture. So when you see me without a label, it's because I have it sitting right behind. Excuse me, true. 
I have it sitting behind the elderberries. So these are just dried elderberry. And behind it, I have my elderberry tincture. Um, just wanted to have you say it just in case. Oh, yes. They lace rubbing alcohol with poison so people can't drink. Yeah, it's, it's drinking alcohol. So I use Mr. Boston, which is, I think, 80% alcohol. And it's affordable. <laughs> now, Bobby got some Everclear in here. What is that? A hundred and something proof? Woo. That stuff is ridiculous. 190 proof? This stuff is crazy. So yeah, you need a lot of elderberry. I always say because if you just feel like you might be coming down with something and, you know, I share with my friends and family too. So I try to keep a lot of elderberry because that's normally the first thing you're going to run to the store and buy or, um, you know, when you buy cough medicine or something, it's going to have elderberry in it. Well, we got our own cough syrup or medicine. We got our own honey. So you definitely need that for this weather that's getting ready to come up pretty soon. So make your own products. It's simple and it's fun. Like apple cider vinegar. Simple and fun. See all that good stuff at the bottom? Simple. Just, you know, do your research in it. Save yourself a lot of money. I'm waiting for my share. Okay, I got your share. <laughs> that 190 proof is awful. It's awful. I thought tinctures were more complicated. No, it's not. And start with something simple. You know, you can do any kind of tincture pretty much. Start with something simple like elderberry. If you got dry elderberries or cayenne. I take cayenne tincture every day. Every single day. I just put it in my water. And all this is is cayenne, pepper, and alcohol. I shake it so it'll help dissolve and break down. I don't taste it. I can put it in anything. Cayenne tincture. I'm sure you got cayenne powder. Pour you some alcohol, 80 proof or higher, in your um, powder. Put it in a jar. Let it sit. About two weeks. It's ready in two weeks. I let mine. I always got one growing when I'm using what I already have. So have you made any extracts? So extracts are glycerin and rum pretty much how much cayenne so i try to put at least half the jar this is uh what is this a half a pint this is a half pint jar so i would fill like half the way of cayenne powder and then i would fill it up with alcohol i don't measure anything i just pour <laughs> And then every day I just mix it. I mean, you know, I turn it upside down. I just go back and forth. Or I just go and shake it and put it back every single day for about two weeks. And then you strain that. Um, did I do a video on cayenne tincture? You strain. I use a cheesecloth and strain the alcohol so I can get the particles out. Because all I want is a drop of cayenne tincture. every day and i take more than a drop i put more than a drop in my water cinnamon tincture is a tincture for everything and that's what it looked like it's just liquid i put a few drops in my water bottle every day good for energy weight loss keep the blood flow good it can stop a person from having a heart attack or stroke so high end it's good um you can make cinnamon tinctures. You can make a tincture with anything. But extracts are easy. So that's what, I, what I'm what i starting to play with now. 
showing y'all how to make extracts. Um, God, everything. <laughs> I make um, air fresheners. Hey, Starduster. Um, you can make everything. If you grow these herbs, you can definitely make stuff. Like vegetable glycerin and rum. As long as you got alcohol, glycerin, distilled or, you know, filtered water. You can make anything and herbs. So it's good to grow these herbs. And um, Stardust to say she got cinnamon tincture. It's good to grow these herbs because they you can use them for so many different things, not just to cook. How do you... You did make a video on the cayenne. I saw it a couple weeks ago. Okay. I know I did cayenne salve. Um, I think the tinctures might have been in there in that video too, but this is cayenne tincture. I mean, this is a salve, like icy hot, but better. So definitely look into your herbs, y'all. Um, There's so much you can do that make all extracts. Are those good? Um, You don't need a machine. I'll show you that too. You don't need a machine. Like I make essential oils and I make them on my stove. I don't purchase anything extra to do things with because I'm not going to buy a machine that I'm just going to do one thing with it, such as make an extract when I can just do it on the stove or in a job. <laughs> so they do sell machines for everything. You know, the freeze dryer, um, a distiller can make essential oils. Yeah, I make essential oils on my stove. You can make essential oils with a crock pot. So, hey, Miss Diane, good morning. I have some and it worked. What's that? Oh, the um, cayenne sal. Yeah, this stuff is good. It's good. And, you know, some people, they, they won't share how they make things or how they do things. But everybody not going to be able to or not want to make things. So I like to share them because you need to know. You know, you may not be able to afford to purchase it from me or what you can't wait for it. You can make it yourself. It's always good to know how to make these things. You can make your family's products. Then you don't have to purchase them. So I don't mind sharing when I know how to make something or learn when I've learned how to do something, I share. It. You know, some people say, I'm not going to make it. I just buy it from you. That's fine. But I always say, try to make it. It's fun. And you need these skills. You need these skills. Um, it's amazing. Come home and use your cayenne salve and peekaboo. Peekaboo, honey. she be ready for Sunday. So Sharon is caring. Yes, Sharon is caring. But you can make oils. You can make extracts. You can make cleaning supplies. You can make personal hygiene products. You can make everything. I I started playing with personal hygiene products just because I wanted to make um, my friend some personal care products. <laughs> um, she liked this in-shower lotion that I make. And I was like, oh, well, let me try and some different things, making our own sugar scrubs and all that stuff. It's simple. And I can make it the way we want it. I don't have to make, you know, just settle with what's in the store. That's added, got a bunch of junk added to it. So I make it myself. You know, this is two things. Two things. I went outside. I saw the lavender was blooming. And I didn't want them to die on the plant. So I picked the flowers. This is some filtered water. Now I got diffuser or air freshener. Lavender air freshener. It's good. It's soothing. You know, I used to burn. I mean, I didn't burn it. But in a um, essential oil diffuser, I would put lavender in it every day for Sandy. Get to the farm. Good morning, Sawyer family. 
every day I would I would give her I would put this in her room for Sandy. It smells so good and relaxing. So now I have essential. I mean, uh, air freshener, homemade. I make deodorant, toothpaste, shea butter, bath bottoms, bath bomb soap. Took GG soap class. You can do it. It's simple. It's simple. I just I Google everything. I love sugar and coffee scrubs. Felt like a whole new person afterwards. Oh, I'm glad you said that. Because I got a whole bunch of coffee I need to do something with. I should make a scrub with it. <laughs> so, all right, y'all. We've been on here long enough. It's a whole world out here. We can conquer it. We can have fun when you it's raining some days and you just in the house. Look into some stuff, you know, and make some things. Start with something as simple as a sugar scrub. It's so simple. Google University can teach you everything, but you need these skills, you know. That's why I like sharing information because we need the skills. Um, we never know when that's all we're going to have to depend on. So we love and appreciate y'all. These dogs are busy. Come on back. Come on back. What is that, my phone? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, I was trying to get rid of the echo. <laughs> I still got to get some of that Everclear. Yeah, Everclear is good. It's good. So, yeah, so y'all get on these herbs, you know. Definitely always recommend this book to help you, guide you, especially in the beginning. Eventually, You'll get to the point where you'd be like, oh, okay. I think pictures and, and um, Google things, all that is important, but write it down. I have notebooks mm -hmm. because I write down everything, all of these um, prescriptions can be made and way more healthier, way more healthier. So about to beat the baby up. Um, yeah, love that book, but I'm telling y'all, to see our friend live 108 years, God blessed her. And he, he is in the business of blessing. He blessing us all the time. But he telling us, come on, child. It's here. It's here. <laughs> yeah, I got notebooks. I got two more somewhere. I don't know where they at. Because sometimes Bobby will take it when he need to write stuff down. He take notebooks. I'm like, where my books at? But, um. It's a whole world out here, and, and we got it. So I'm always here for y'all. I love and appreciate y'all. I want y'all to grow something. Did y'all see those long beans? Got my freezer full. We have a special mission coming up this weekend, so we'll be on the road. Well, we won't be on the road Friday. We won't be on the road Friday. So, But we still got a special mission coming up. So I'm going to go share some of these long beans with somebody because we got a lot. But... I think it's 4th of July weekend coming up. If you celebrate or plan to hit the road or be out and about, be careful. You know, that is a very deadly weekend for travelers. And um, we want y'all all safe, but we want you to enjoy your family. Enjoy your summer because it's hot like fire out there. Drop those seeds. Grow those groceries. Hey, Dan, look, y'all. Look at this. For us people in the South. They can't grow lettuce. Well, first, I'm growing lettuce on my kitchen counter now. I decided to take my, my hydroponic system, put it in the kitchen, and grow my lettuce because I can't deal with the stores. I can't deal with it. So I did drop these seeds, which you can harvest in 30 days from seed for salads. They don't bolt. They are heat tolerant. So I'm going to grow it and see because I need my salads every week. So I got my um, romaine and buttercrunch lettuce growing on the counter in the kitchen. 
and I dropped these seeds outside. I got carrots out there. We got cucumbers coming in like crazy. If Bobby don't put them all in his water, he like cucumber water. I'll put some in my salad. So grow your groceries, grow your groceries. You know, we have been um, programmed to depend on the store. So you got some um, star duster. So grow your own groceries. It's so many benefits, not just saving you money and being able to um, go in your yard and grocery shop, but the the energy that comes from growing your own groceries, going out there, that is just a whole positive mood. It's a whole vibe out there. I grew that last season. How did you like it, um, G Mama Grows? Yeah, Bobby loves cucumber water. But the positivity that comes from growing your own groceries, or at least trying, you know, just trying. When I see a sprout, I drop a seed. When I see a sprout, it make me happy. So if you haven't tried it, try it. If you don't have seeds, you know we are here for you. Didn't know you could eat amaranth. Yes. Chinese multicolored spinach. We use chicken and rabbit poop to fertilize. <laughs> we use chicken and, and rabbit poop. It said that this is the most tender and sweet amaranth for edible greens. And from seed, these are you can harvest start harvesting this in 30 days. And it's great for growing it in hot areas like ours. So happy birthday, G Mama Grows. We'll see you Friday. I'm gonna try to remember your birthday is Friday. I ain't gonna try, I'm gonna remember it. So y'all enjoy. Y'all week, it's going to be a hot one. Stay hydrated. Check on your neighbors. Check on your pets because those are our friends too. So y'all be blessed. Starduster, I got to text you because I'm glad. I'm glad to see positive things now. Um, Thanks for the reminder, Sherry. Got those last year, but never gotten them in the ground. You got so much to do. Yeah, grow those groceries. It's fun. It's fun. So have fun with it. It's very tender. They get huge if you let them. Oh, that's good. That's good. Good. So I shall see y'all and don't let nobody steal your joy. <laughs>